Hello! Today is a bit unusual as we're doing a tutorial for once for making games with Unreal, specifically making games that involve 2D characters in Unreal. So, what we're going to do is just go in here, have these characters quickly fight, because as the thing is with my game, as you take more damage, you turn into 2D, and you can see these 2D characters look really good, as in they're not blurry or anything. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So the idea today is showing you guys how to fix your characters if they get blurred when this animation goes through. You see that it gets all those weird white lines around it, the pixels get blurry, and we want them to be looking crisp, just like the rest of the other ones. And I'll show that again, because I've been working on my get-up animations and my downed animations. I already today fixed the getting down to animation for character E, the robot over here. But now I'm going to show you guys with the two parts of my get up animation for them. They do have the longest get up animation in the game. How to fix those. So if we just escape out of here, exit to main menu. Honestly, I should just Alt F4, and I will. But we will head back over to Unreal. I do already have a couple things open. That kind of let me know what we're doing with. These are both examples. This is the animation that I just fixed. And you guys saw it being part of the down animation. I was looking at my block animation sprite sheet as my example. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your thing that you want to fix. You're going to find the sprite sheet or the texture. In this case, it is the sprite sheet which you have to convert to Paper 2D. This is all involving Paper 2D, paper 2D and Paper ZD fixing for animations. Paper 2D, we're just going to go ahead and have both of them fixed up. These are some giant sprite sheets, so much so that they are two separate ones on their own. But the important things to look at are things that I've already kind of noted on this one. The easiest way to do this, though, is just to... There actually is some other important stuff. Really importantly, you want to make sure you have no min-maps. No min-maps is exactly what you need. 2D pixels on filtered is good. User interface, 2D, RBGA, that's all good. That's going to be your defaults for the most part. At least I'm pretty sure. Once you have Paper 2D and Paper ZD installed as your plugins, those should be your defaults. The important thing is when you go to filter, you'll pull up this part, which is the more important part. They use fit. They use fast min map gen filter and the filter. So we'll do that for the same for the other ones too. Once again, we can double check. This is at no min maps. This is 2D on filtered. That's all good. User interface 2B GBA. Same over here. It's all by default. But if we go to filter, now we notice that this is on and this is set to default. And this should look the same because those are what it defaults to. There might be a way to mess with the defaults, but I have not personally gotten around to that myself. But easiest thing to do, turn both of those off and set the filter to nearest. I don't know if any of these other ones particularly work, but nearest, especially if you're doing low pixel art, that's just going to be what you need. Both of the animations are only in the low pixel art section, as you will only get knocked down in my game when you're at your lowest health, which is also when you're at your lowest pixels. So we can get those. And then you can rebuild out your game. Notably, this is an issue that only happens outside of the engine. Like, if I were to show it in the engine, for example, I can grab both of these characters. Of course, we have already fixed the issue for our robot character, so there isn't really much point in me showing that. But if I do it for the bug, which I have not fixed, and I can definitely show you guys that when I make, I can show you guys this real quick. Boom, boom, boom. It's knocked out. Boom, perfectly fine, perfectly crisp. It will not look like that outside of the game, well, outside of Unreal. We can escape that. Let's go ahead and save all. And then build it out. Package content. Find your folder. Mine should not take too long, so I don't think I'll need to make a cut, but I will just in case, because I think it will have a couple thousand things to compress. Just because of how big this game is, don't really worry about this yellow text. I was doing some weird stuff with the common UI input that didn't quite work and hasn't needed to be fixed yet. So we will be right back. Alrighty, now that it has fully packaged out, we can minimize. Oh, 
it's weird when you have the output log open, so just minimize your way out of here. Go over to our actual game again. And once we get into the fight, I'll just go ahead and mute the game. So I have a hotkey right now set up for pressing M to mute it. Which isn't probably the best idea for once you get to the actual game. We will press the same two characters again. And obviously my debug keys don't work here, so I can't bring them down to super low health. But if I just attack it a lot, boom, 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 goes down. The animation is now crisp. It's now not blurry like you want it to. Well, it's not blurry. It's exactly where you want it to be. I can attack my other character. It will take a while as they each only have one attack currently. And uh, character E's attack is much lower. Because it is a two-part attack and it is kind of going to be one of their slower attacks. Boom, that will do it. So you can see the white line. The haziness. Just like I said, it only looks good in the engine. And that can be a very eye-opening experience when you first build out your game if it has 2D components using Paper ZD and Paper 2D. Because you don't realize you're going to run into this issue. And hopefully you guys can look on this video as, as a way to fix that. I know I will be looking back at this video whenever I import more textures, import more animations into my game, just so I can fix them as need be. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I hope this was helpful.